Hello and welcome to the Fluid Mechanics course. This course is designed by Dr. Solomon, Assistant Professor of Mechanical Engineering Tuskegee University. A tied-up learning model is proposed in this course for effective and engaged delivery of each concepts. In this model, each fluid mechanics concept will be delivered using a number of mandatory steps based on brain-based learning techniques. We call these mandatory steps as protocols. For example, to deliver a concept, step 1 requires review of its prerequisites. Connection to old information will help learning easier. In the next step a central idea of the concept will be presented. This may create a possible neural connection in the brain. An active learning component will be another protocol to be used. This will make sure that an active learning procedure will be used as a learning technique. Activities that can trigger repeated use of same neural connections will be another protocol in this tied-up model. The zone of proximal development is another mandatory step included. Students will solve harder problems with indirect supervision of faculty using a shared, collaborative workspace. Microsoft Surface Pro with screen sharing technology will be used for this purpose. In the next step, we search for a relevant emotional component that can be related to the concept. Another mandatory step, Protocol 7, looks for patterns of collective meaning of a number of concepts connected to the new concept. An element of choice will be a higher level description of the same concept. And finally, in Protocol 9, a cognitive map of the concept will be generated. This will be an abstract image that can be retrieved later when this concept is required as a prerequisite for another higher level concept. Now let us look at the course content of ME and G313 Fluid Mechanics. There are approximately 84 concepts identified in this introductory course. We will learn each of these exciting concepts of fluid mechanics one by one in a systematic and engaging manner. Now you can move on to the video one that describes the concept density. Thank you for listening.